Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tierra Anthony. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Um, today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the BoxyCharm. I've never reviewed BoxyCharm before. I've never had BoxyCharm before. This is my first one, um, my first purchase. And let's see if I like the stuff inside. Um, obviously you can see I already tore into it earlier. I just wanted to, you know, make sure everything was in there before I did my review on this box. Um, this is the November's box. Um, again, this is my first time reviewing this. Sorry, it came out. So yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. And it comes with a little boxy charm card. Um, basically stating that they have some sell stuff going on. And it also comes with this little sampler. Um, it has the like four different uh, colors of concealers in here. You got your rich, which is your dark, you got your medium, you got your light to medium, and you have your fair. Um, this is by Undercover. Never heard of them before. Um, actually, no, my bad. So it's called, it, it's called uh, Undercover. Uh, lightweight concealer but the actual name of the place or of the brand is called pretty vulgar but yeah this is it right here and it's a it's a good sample size I honestly like if I had to pick like my concealer it would like have to be between these two colors like this is too light and this is way too dark so like I would put it underneath my eye and highlight wherever I need to highlight for my concealer um, sorry. <laughs> Other than that, I have, um, they gave me the Dulce of Colors. I love Dulce of Colors. Like, I have, um, some lips, not lipsticks, sorry. <laughs> I have some lip glosses, uh, from this brand. They're really, really good. Um, I'm pretty sure I already reviewed some before of my lip glosses. I think I did. If I haven't, please let me know or I'll just look later. And if I didn't, I'll just do a review on them. But anyway, they gave me this one. As you know, like it's super light. It's probably not gonna look good on me. But yeah, it's um, it's called Nude Mood. Um, super light. I'll just show you how light this is. Don't get me wrong, it's a pretty color, but it's way too light for me. Way too light. Um, moving on. They gave me this full size antioxidant dew glow serum. Um, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do, but it's full size. Never heard of this uh, Kypris. That's the name of the brand. Um, it's an anti anti <laughs> I can't speak right now. Antioxidant dew uh, quench and glow serum. And it's, I guess it's supposed to be like something you like, you know, take care of your face with, or I would apply this, I guess, with before you put on your makeup. I'm not really sure what this is exactly for. Exactly for, um, let's see. Um, this is apply several drops of antioxidant dew to clean skin morning and night. Best results. Combined with the Kypris Beauty Elixir for external use only. Um, it has a lot of like vit it says vitamin C and E inside of this, and ferulic acid and herb de um, derived antioxidants with the sea, sea algae, algae, whatever. Uh, <laughs> And um, some other word I cannot pronounce with indica from like the second part of the word. Um, and D DPHP. Don't know what that is either. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll try it out, I guess. I've never heard of them. Um, I like trying out new brands as long as, you know, it doesn't have anything bad inside of the product. I absolutely love that they gave me brushes. So these are the BoxyCharm brushes. These are super cute. Like look at these. Super, super cute. 
and i would assume that this is like a concealer brush or something you could just do it in under your eyes with or even if you wanted to like you know do your bronzer or whatever i would use this little small brush right here this big brush will be perfect for foundations like like adding on foundation to your skin this is the perfect brush for that um yeah i think these are really these are really great quality too like they're super thick soft they don't feel cheap they don't smell like factory or anything so yeah i like those brushes definitely definitely like going to be using those last but not least everybody's been talking about this but this is the dominique cosmetics celestial thunder palette and when i say this is absolutely beautiful guys it's stunning look at look at all these beautiful colors like this is beautiful do you see that definitely doing some swatches guys <laughs> i mean yeah swatches i get it swatches on your arm sometimes they can be deceiving you know um it's happened but i've never used um dominique's cosmetics palette before so i'm really excited and i've seen people review their palettes like so many times but i just never got around to purchasing any of their palettes anyway let me get around with um doing these swatches i got little cute names on here external light which is this one external light and it's a shimmer shade um i guess i could use this as like a inner tear duct highlight but yeah it's really pretty it's like a champagne color um and then we got this really cute shimmer shade um, called fireball it's like a red orange shimmery color super cute oh it has some like some pink flux in there too but yeah yeah that's pretty so yeah that's fireball and then the next shade we have is black matter it's like I can't describe this color it looks like a really dark purple with some pink flux in there. That's pretty. It's really nice. I like that. That would be really cute for the holidays, guys. And then we got, uh, sorry, Zero Gravity. That light is really strong. Zero Gravity. Gravity. So, uh, I already see I'm going to have some issues right here with this. It's like a grayish light purple color it doesn't show up good on me at all like i'm gonna try to swatch it again like put it like a double one and then maybe it'll show up a little better yeah it's really really light guys like i don't think i would be using that shade next we have um lucid dream this is a really really pink bright pink color and i'm super excited to use this color i love colors like this it's so vibrant and looks good on my skin tone and similar skin tones that of mine if you have but yeah so let's go ahead and swatch this lucid dream that's pigmented y'all yeah i'm not gonna lie that's one swatch and like i said looks are deceiving like when I swatch this, obviously you can see it's kind of patchy. So you got some color payoff there, and then you got super light right here. I'm gonna do another one. I like giving things a chance. Okay. So you would definitely have to probably build up this color. Um, I was not expecting it to be patchy since it was really pigmented looking at first. But looks are deceiving. Um, now we have Storm Dust, which is this nice burnt orange color. Perfect, perfect for the holidays, perfect for Thanksgiving. I absolutely love colors like this. So that's what it looks like right there. Blah. 
that one kind of got patchy on me too not as bad as the um lucid dreams but yeah that one definitely got kind of light on me let's try that again and i was expecting to have it like like a really like I don't know it looks different in the pan like versus the swatch on the arm just a little different I don't know. anyway moving on that's pretty upsetting but yeah so we have lunar eclipse that's the next one it's just a regular orange color um it's a really good compliment color for the um the color next to it i don't know guys <laughs> I'm not, I, I like the shimmers. I'm not feeling the mattes so much. The mattes are not that great. Um, I've seen more pigmented mattes. Um, I'm not gonna just, you know, dismiss this palette completely because there are some good shades in here. But right now, I'm not impressed with the mattes. Um, my last color I'm going to do is Mystic Ice really cute like turquoise color this is like my favorite favorite color i love this color oh come on <laughs> and it's like dark in the pan too like look at my finger and look how it looks like on here okay maybe you just had to go in a second time but even then like you see it like it gets lighter <laughs> as you swatch i don't know about that I don't know about this palette. I'm honestly like, I'm very skeptical about it. <laughs> will I use the mattes, these three, not mattes. Will I use the shimmer shades? Absolutely, they're beautiful. Would I use any of these mattes? Probably not. Um, other than that, this palette was amazing. Um, I like it. I just don't like it on my skin tone because it's not going to show up like how I want it to. Um, the color payoff is not that great. Other than that, like this box overall was absolutely amazing. Oh, I just saw that there's actually more things at the bottom. Okay. So it comes with masks. Um, I did not know that. I just literally just saw them at the bottom of the box. It's uh, Starry Eyes warm up in 30 seconds okay warms up in 30 seconds indulgent self wear warming eye mask hmm okay last up for 20, last up to 20 minutes okay yeah so i guess you like you put this on i would definitely try to put this on before i go to sleep um yeah these are it's pretty cool. I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, I would definitely try these. Overall, Foxy Charm, you have impressed me. I was very skeptical for a very long time about getting this box. <laughs> but honestly, like I'm not disappointed. Overall, I'm not disappointed. Am I disappointed in in the palette? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm very disappointed in that palette as far as like what I was expecting. Um, the shimmer shades are beautiful though. I'm going to use those for the holidays. Absolutely. You bet. Um, the lipstick, very disappointed in that because that's not going to, yeah, that's not <laughs> going to look good on me. And I'm not even going to put it on my lips because I can already see right now by putting it by my lips, like that's not going to be cute at all. Even with lip liner, probably not. Um... So as far as I let it dry, so let's see if it transfers. Yeah. That's the blue. Sorry. So yeah, it doesn't move. Kind of just sits still. Um, does it transfer? Yes, it does transfer. Okay. So I'm just doing a little rub. Yeah, it transfers. Um, it's really sticky too like the consistency once it dries down it's pretty sticky um i don't like that because when it's usually sticky like that like matte lipsticks when they're like liquid 
liquid matte lipsticks when they when they're sticky like that they're easy to transfer and um i don't like lipsticks that transfer and my husband doesn't either so i mean that's just me but everybody else's spending is different um i love their lip glosses by the way my husband hates lip glosses that's fine he knows like when i have lip gloss on don't kiss me um but other than that like if I want a matte, liquid matte lipstick to wear, like I expect it to be matte, liquid, non-transferable at all. That's just how I do things. But that sums up my whole entire review of the BoxyCharm for November's box. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.